Hi everyone, welcome to day two of our vlog. Day one started on Tishaya's channel, day two is on our channel, Just Up. So if you're watching this, you must already be on our channel, right Tishaya? Exactly. Okay. <laughs> This is our last day in Casa. No, 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 perfecto. Um, our last day in Casa So we came here because we were scouting out retreat locations. We are leaving without a retreat location for two reasons. One, um, it's not right. Two, it's really hard to get here. So what we didn't realize is that Cozumel is more of a port, we think, than a destination. I mean, it's lovely. It's it's lovely. Yeah. Like, it's Mexico, we're on the sea and stuff. Um, no, it's kind of dark, the sea. But um, Tashira's flight got all delayed because of weather and she missed a day. And so given that the retreat that we want to host is only going to be three or four days, that's not a good sign. Yeah. So we're going to keep looking. If you have any suggestions, please let us know. Um, but we've had a lovely couple of days. We've been working and relaxing um, and headed back to the cold. I think it's very cold in DC. It is very, very cold in Boston. Um, and one of the things that I've realized this year is like, I can't deal with the cold the same way anymore. So I've got to figure that out because I'm based in Boston. I'm not leaving, but my body, even like thinking about the cold to Shira, it's negative three. Jesus. <laughs> do you see what I'm wearing? This is like the It's how cute. Wait, show them, show them, show them. We're going to do. This is an OOTD sponsored by Justice. Go, M. Go. Let's see. Get this back. It's it's Cecile Behansen, right? I, I yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, that's nothing. That's what it is. Um. So day two. Wait. Part two of our vlog. Last day here. I have a couple hours. We're gonna have breakfast, and I'm gonna we're gonna go to yoga, and I'm gonna pack up at home and hang out a little bit before we leave. Okay. Bye, guys. We're getting ready to do yoga and let me show you our view. Oh, let me show you our teacher as well because she's the cutest. <laughs> so yoga was amazing. I was in full sweat by the end of it, specifically because the sun came out. Um, but it also felt very like cathartic, a great release, and then obviously kind of a wind down and a good way to settle into the day. Um, I'm just going to sit here with Margo. She's packing now and enjoy the beach. I'm sure you all can hear the waves crashing. And so it is just so incredibly relaxing. And I want to share with you a little bit of what we did last night. So last night we had our vision board making party in our private community called the Justice League. We will link it down below because it is such a great time. It is an opportunity to build community with like-minded people. And we talk about wellness, self-care, social justice issues at a big age in the same way we do on the podcast. But we can do so in a virtual space and actually build this network of people who are committed to similar causes. And so uh, we had folks to bring their vision board making supplies with them and to talk about goals. And one of the things that we took away from it is that the league is asking that we actually build some accountability into it. So we are going to be checking in about our goals every quarter or so. But let me show you my vision board. So I wanted to put mine inside of my agenda so that way I could actually see it every time I open it and really have those moments of reflection. Um, experiences was actually what I started with and I knew I wanted that to take up space because my goal this year is to privilege experiences over things. I wanna reflect, I wanna make room for all of me and I'm also in the midst of reconstructing my business and what that looks like. I wanna spend more time at home and actually do some home interior projects continue to lean into just the beauty of my blackness and to fight for black liberation. Um, this is a reminder that I am saving for a really big trip. At some point I wanna go on a safari, but also I just love giraffes. I think it's something about like them and their necks and kind of stretching to the sky or stretching to my highest self is a reminder. I really wanna take a workshop 
around um, flower making or making flower arrangements. I want that to be something that I focus on this year and build that skill. The hot air balloon is all about ascension. The hats. So this was a person that I covered his face and he had all these hats on his head. But this is for me all about reminding myself that I'm a multi-hyphenate and I wear many hats. And again, to make room for all of me. Paris is going to be my big trip of the year, my solo trip. Um, and then prayers here is just a reminder to be spiritual and to rest in that space. And then very small on both sides is just clean food. So like some fruits, some vegetables, just to be mindful of eating and how I treat my body. And that is my vision board. I think I'm going to make more than one, but this is the one now for my agenda. I want to make another one for my journal. But while we wait for Margot, let's go get a mimosa, shall we? I'm getting a mimosa and Margot is getting water with me. <laughs> that says everything that you need to know about us. Cheers. Cheers, everyone. I'm gonna go out into the water and Marco said I need to learn how to swim. You know, I'm 41, I made it this far. I'm not going too far. Good. It's cold. It's cold? It's not that bad. Hi guys. Sherry wants me to tell everyone what I'm reading, which honestly, um, I have a friend who might be starting a company around this because we all need suggestions about books, but I'm reading two really good books right now. Um, I just finished, I want to join your cult or do you want to join my cult? That was funny and good and very fruitful. I'm now reading Roman stories by Jhumpa Lahari, Lahiri, and then this is the next book for my book club. Wife of Williston. Both really great. You guys, Elle is with us. He hasn't been feeling well. The camera off me. <laughs> Sorry, friend. <coughs> if you watch part one of the vlog, then you know that we are staying at the Sunscape Resort, which is part of like Hyatt Properties. There's a dreams beside us and also a secret. And we are at lunch, Sunnyside Grill, and we're gonna decide what we want to eat. I just ordered the quesadillas and Marco is getting ready to leave. This is just sparkling water. I need a little detox. I've already had three cocktails um, and it's one o'clock, so. But, it's been a lovely time. As Margo told you guys, we decided that Cozumel wasn't the right fit for us, but it doesn't mean that it wasn't a great way to just spend the last few days. We just enjoyed our quesadilla. Margo had tacos and this is the end. Huh? So, uh, you guys, we have enjoyed hanging out with you and also just showing you what this vacation has been like. So, can I just share one epiphany that I've had? So, there's a version of this trip where we could feel like we were super unsuccessful. Okay. Right? Because, like, we came here to find a retreat location. We didn't do that. Yeah. And I was saying to Tashara, like, when we came to this restaurant to eat, we're in all this, but, like, there was there were all these people doing water aerobics and I was like, shoot, I should have done that. And then I like started getting down on myself that I like literally haven't done anything. Like I haven't moved. I mean, I went to the gym one day we did yoga, but like I haven't moved more than a hundred <laughs> yards. Period. Then you didn't even leave the... I didn't leave the resort. Um, and I just needed to rest. I read two books. We did a journaling thing. We worked a little bit. Yeah. We like did a lot of podcast stuff, but sometimes you just need to like sit. So here's the thing. I feel like what we forget is that rest is a verb. Like you do rest, right? You do sit. But it's not just sleeping. It's, well, I mean, it is sleeping. Like I can't it's not just... that. But sometimes rest is just like 
hanging out with your friend doing nothing in a way that feels healthy and holistic. Yeah, so like, it's not perfect, like this place wasn't perfect, right? But it was like the right price, it was the right, well, it wasn't the right location, but it was like <laughs> a location we thought. We only had three days. Yep. It didn't go perfectly. You missed a day because of weather. But like, just take the vacation. Just take the trip and we can't okay. make perfect the enemy of good. Right, it wasn't perfect. Like, it was a lot of traveling. It wasn't the perfect place. Like, the food was sometimes good. She's making this sound horrible because <laughs> I'm trying to figure out when she gonna circle this thing back around. Okay, friend, go ahead. Go ahead, tell but us. It was exactly what we needed. <laughs> it was a horrible <laughs> vacation, but we needed that. Sometimes you need horrendous experiences in your life. <laughs> That's not what I was saying. I'm just saying, it's like, we could have waited until like we got the perfect ticket, oh, avoid I see. the perfect hotel, I see. Or the perfect location, and we didn't have that opportunity because we had a quick turnaround time because we were seeing this one place. Yes, yeah, so. we found a cheap hotel that was fine. We found a cheap ticket that was fine. Yep, and we had a great time. And we came on vacation, so just book the trip, do the thing and rest i think is the parting message also don't forget to like subscribe and all those things and all those things join the justice tribe also follow us over on social media and we will see y'all next time thanks for listening to justice we hope you enjoyed this episode. If you like to learn more about our podcast, be sure to check us out on our website at justicepodcast.com. You can also reach out to us there if you want to be featured on the show or if you have a business or a product that you think would be a good fit for our audience. Thanks again for listening.